Am I recording? Am I live? What's up? What's up, y'all? It's your boy Charles. Charles on this world. Tapping in. Hope you guys are having a good evening. I'm having a good evening. Listen, we're about to jump into this video right now. Um, it's by O'Shea Duke Jackson. That's the is the YouTuber who put this video out. And I'm going to play it right now and I'm gonna come back with my reaction. Hit that thumbs up button, guys. Appreciate, appreciate you guys watching. <clears throat> Hope you guys are having a good holiday. It's holiday season. We find a video right quick. Oh boy, let's check this video out, y'all. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. So, guys, let me talk about this, channel, this lady here, Von Shea Taylor. She is one of these ladies that pretty much you will find on one of these struggle reality shows sort of dusty, uh, musty and crusty again. And, uh, you know, she's uh, one of those ones that are, you know, kind of weaving and sounding up loud and obnoxious. You know, the, the kind of ladies you black men complain about in the community. Good looking lady, but um, again, the attitude is not on point. She was dealing with this brother by the name of gunplay. Of course, Florida, what kind of man that is decent calls himself gunplay? I'm just, would you think about that? Would you think that somebody that's going to be a great parent, a great husband? No, no. His name is Gunplay. Right. Just like C Murder, Master Peach Brother, C Murder. Guess what he went to jail for? Murder. It, it wasn't, he saw some murder. He did. He's, he should be do murder. Right. Not C Murder. Okay. Yet you ladies out there that, you know, you, you find these guys with these silly ass names, then y'all think these guys are going to be actually good people and then they're not most likely possibly because you're not a good person all right mm. so anyways they was fighting and all this allegedly he pulled a gun out on her she got him arrested and he's in jail now so okay that was the case right so then she put out this video about how she was looking for a white man this is a very controversial video but check this out it is so sad how black men really hate black women next time i see me have a baby i will be married to a white man I promise y'all, he gonna be white, he gonna be European, he gonna be from, you know. They all do this shit. They get these horrible men that they know gonna treat them horrible, and then when they treat them horrible, and it don't work out, oh, I'm gonna get me a white man. They all go crying, at, I'm gonna run to the white man shit. Saudi Arabia, it's gonna be something exotic where they love us. It appreciate us. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a while from now, though. <coughs> I was just gonna be like ten, and I'm gonna pop out <laughs> pregnant. Not that I'm one of them. What are you? <laughs> I can appreciate finding a man that appreciates black women. Y'all know. Let's talk about that. That is so sad. That is so sad. I know. I was joking, but I was serious at the same time. I know I just said the next time I ever pop out in a relationship, have a baby, be married, will be with like a European, Italian. I said Italian specifically because they love black women. You want like these sisters are running to these white men because they they're they're women. Black women are trying to find them a rich sucker, and they feel like they can get away with more shit, and ain't nobody gonna check them, and they can run through his money. That's what they hoping to find a rich sucker. I want to find me a rich sucker. You know what I'm saying? Let me find me a white man so I can find me a rich sucker. You know, let me find me an Italian man so I can find me a rich sucker. Then when they go over there and realize, no, you can't go. This man got stuff set up. He got money set up. He not finna let you come in here and run, your, run, you know, run game and run and shit. Then when they can't do that, oh, white men ain't all these men. Like, it is so sad how black men really hate black women. It is sad. Look at what Megan went through. The girl was actually shot. <laughs> it wasn't alleged, as the blogs up saying allegedly. The girl was shot. And look at all the hate that she received. Like, it's sad how black men do black women. Even with my situation, like, I had so many black men coming at me crazy. It's like, where is the accountability? All right, so that video. <laughs> what? Where's the accountability? You chose a nigga named Gunplay, bitch. You didn't think that was gonna turn out. <laughs> After she had a baby by this guy, that's what she was saying. Nothing to offer, in my opinion, anybody. 
But, you know, with all those demands, this is typical. Okay. She ended up, you know, getting a DM from this guy, Frank in Joku Sudio. He's a brother from Africa. He is a millionaire, 26. They've been dating for a month. Now, this brother is a, came to the United States. I don't know what he's doing to make that kind of money at 26. But uh, maybe it's legal. I don't know. It's not my business. <laughs> but, you know, he's helping her. It'll come out later that he done did some scam shit and she's going to be at the forefront. Her raise her kid while she's spending all of the money. Now, this is what he said. Von Shea tells us Frank, her boyfriend, owns multiple businesses that sprawl across media, e-commerce, Airbnb, park properties, and cars. Okay? That's very interesting for a guy that's 26. He has multiple businesses that make a lot of money. Seems like to me the brother's doing something on the side, all right? Right. I'll just leave it like that. Right. He also has no issues with her staying at home, raising her child, and spending his money. He's paid for her legal bills and handled her child's medical bills. For a sucker. I, I want you guys to hear this, and this is what a lot of ladies want. A lot of ladies would like a rich for them to be able to go out here, make a mistake with somebody like Gunplay. That's really who you, you had to be about a guy like that, right? <laughs> then you expect some other guy to be dumb enough to come in and take care of it. Wait a minute, that man. Wait a minute. <laughs> she saw you. You you mean tell me she's wait a minute. Why the back? Hold up, man. Wait, wait. <laughs> For them to be able to go out here, make a mistake with somebody like Gunplay. Look at this. <laughs> she thought this was, ooh, look at he, girl, look at this. Girl, look at him. Ooh, we'll make some pretty babies, girl. Look how sexy. Ooh, he is so sexy and thugged out. Just, oh, man, baby. He, girl, look at him, girl. He, ooh, he is just, I can build a life with this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> Like, that's really who you, you had to be about a guy like that, right? Then you expect some other guy to be dumb enough to come in and take care of it. That's what they're looking for, right? A lot of, a lot of them want, don't want to admit that, but a lot of them, that's what they want. Let me be first to tell you, ladies, you'll be lucky if you get it. You'll find an idiot like this here and there. <clears throat> Most guys are not going for it 99% of the time. The reason is when you have a baby by a guy like Gunplay, you've showed me a lot about yourself. Right. All right. right. You, you've told me a lot about yourself because, you know, I got tired of going on dates and this is what I used to always do. I would go on dates and then I would hear ladies, you know, complain about Here we go. Their baby daddy, how he wasn't nothing, how he was dusty, how he was broke. And then I'm thinking to myself at the time I was dumb, so I didn't know what was going on. But then I thought about it. I'm like, well, damn, if he's that dusty, how did he get you? Get you like, right. Exactly. He did all of that and he still got you. <laughs> and the more I would try to have relationships with people like this, you'd always find out when they would, if they would cheat, it would always be with a, a guy like that. Right? Mm -hmm. That's who it always would be with. So when I hear these stories, I leave you to your own desires. I don't waste my time. Nope. I've worked too hard in my life. Mm -mm. Listen to what I'm saying. For me to come in here and deal with somebody that made by a guy like Gunplay. I've worked too hard, I've studied too hard, and I'm not gonna let you spend my goddamn money when you have a pookie in prison that has been clapping cheeks. Right. No. You need to go in there and fix it with him. Be giving, you should be sending your money to him. That's what happened with, uh, it happened to so many people. It happened with Jaleel, it was Jaleel White? Yeah, Jaleel White. It happened to, uh, Columbus Short. Columbus Short was messing. His wife was messing with a, a gang member. They could have got him like Merck to do was restore him. She was using Columbus Short money that he would give her for the house. Money was coming up short. She was using Columbus Short money to pay for the the blood. He was a gang member from L.A. A blood. She was using his money, Columbus Short money, to pay for the dude the blood dude's apartment. <laughs> he didn't realize it until like a couple months later. I'm not going to, I might as well just throw my money in the trash. Right. Because when she moves on, you can't get your money back. Mm -mm. And she will do that. You know what I mean? And guys let themselves be used. This is why a lot of ladies don't even respect men, black men in general, because, you know, you will let somebody that's like that 
you know, that, that, that they ain't got nothing going on for themselves, can't help you do something. And then once you do it, they'll be out there going back to the same kind of guy. And that's where they belong with that kind of person because they like that kind of person. Eventually, you're going to find out. You know, you start doing something, treating them nice. They'll be like, oh, he's nice, but he's boring. I need me a real jigger. <laughs> the next thing you know, all of a sudden, I love you. You're a nice guy, but you know, I already love this other guy who can't read and write. And then you go, <laughs> all your money spent. She will spend on this guy. Mm-hmm. And then you're the one that looks stupid, like dumb. Why are you holding this baby? Okay? Like really dumb and stupid. Okay. Then somebody like me comes and I talk about you like all day long. A lot. I'm going to talk about you a lot. Not even a little, a lot. I'm going to insult your ass. Okay. I'm just going to be, I'm going to be real. Because you men out there, you work too hard to get to where you at. I'm trying to tell you, most women, when they get to where they at, they're not going to go backwards with somebody like this. Usually. Unless they just really don't have a chance. Like some men will just be like, oh, she got a nice butt. She, she fine. Let me go ahead on exchange what, you know, I've worked hard for her, for her beauty. Right. And you just can't do, I mean, you're dumb. You guys are silly, <laughs> you know? If you guys are that dumb, you deserve everything that's coming towards you. Because if you do that, who does that? You know, you deal with these chicks out here. They're nice women out there you can date, but no, you want to date with the ones with well, problems. Do you think that when you bail her out of her last situation that she doesn't she doesn't feel like she did nothing wrong in the last relationship? She feels like everything was wrong happened from that guy. Right. So then you deal with all of those problems. You're gonna get tired of her one day and you never made her rectify herself from the last relationships. When chicks jump from a guy like that to a nice to a wealthy guy, what happens is they feel, listen to what I'm saying, like, oh, well, this is where I deserve to be in the first place. No, you don't. No, you don't. You, just you really don't. You really don't deserve to be there. You just got lucky this time. And that's why so many guys keep meeting women that be having problems in relationships. You be like, damn, man, nobody taught her. Of course nobody taught her. Because you never made her be accountable. You know what I mean? You if you if When you don't make women accountable for their decisions, man, you know, they feel like they don't have to ever work on themselves. And why should they have to work on themselves? When you know you got guys like this who is willing to spend money to be around them. Exactly. Hit that thumbs up button. They know they can always find a simp. They know they're always gonna have a hard up, you know, dude that uses his money and success to get women, or he'll do a hey, baby, I'll do whatever you say, as long as I can be with you, as long as I can sleep with you. They know they always gonna find a simp, dude. Never, I'm sorry. It can't happen. No. No. We can't do that. Sorry. So guys, we're your boy Shady Jackson. Back at it again. The episode of The Slurry Junk. Y'all go ahead and subscribe to O'Shea Duke Jackson's channel. That's where I got the video for from. O'Shea Duke Jackson has really good content. Uh, he's been in the game for a long time. Um, uh, man. That's, so that's how always how it happens, man. You always have. It's always, you know. But, you know, it's not just, you know, one thing about it, though. It's not just black it's not just black women all women i'm sorry to say fellas all women want the want the hardcore guy they want the you know they want the street cat they don't you know what i'm saying all women it's not just black women all women want you know even you know even in grade school they want the athlete or the street dude that's that's who gets the women i mean straight up um it's always been that way the thing about it is with sisters though sisters be making Cause here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you how it goes. You got a white, you got a white woman, you got a black woman, you got an Asian woman, and let's say an Indian woman, right? They all, all women love bad boys. When they all through grade school, they, they, they love the bad boy. High school, they wanted the bad boy. When they early twenties, they wanted the bad. You know, through college. The difference is with black women. Black women make permanent decisions, like having a kid with the bad boy. And then once they had a kid, and then they'll have a, then they'll meet another one, have a kid with him, and he got two kids. So now you get older, and you realize that damn, the bad boy ain't responsible. He don't want to work, he in and out of jail. He don't want to get no real job. He want to try just try to sell dope or run scams to get money. He ain't trying to get no legit shit. 
he went, you know, he, you know, we, you know, every time I asked him to get a job or go to school, man, white man finna hire me. I got felonies. Or they ain't paying no money. I, I can go out here and rob a dude and get the money that they're gonna pay. You know what I'm saying? So you try they tried to domestic domesticate the hood, you know, the bad boy. But he's a bad boy. He can't be domestic domesticated. He can't be uh Cliff Huxable from the Cosby show. You know what I'm saying? So what it ends up, ends up happening is they have, uh, you know, because let me tell you, the white girl, the Asian girl, the Indian girl, when they're in college, they messing around with the bad boys, the athletes, letting them sleep with them, having threesomes in the whole nine. But guess what they're not doing, though? They're making them wear a condom because you're not going to get my wound. My wound is going to go to the man that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. I should at least give him that. You know, I should at least save my wound for him. The man I'm going to marry, the man I'm going to actually... I'm having fun with you now, bad boy, in college. I'm letting you do all kind of freaky stuff to me. I'm sucking your balls. I'm doing the whole nine. Because you the bad boy. The bad boy gets first and dip on the pussy. So the, the bad boy is getting all that. I'm going to let you get all that. We're going to have fun while I'm young and tight and firm. You're going to have fun with me. But I'm saving my wound for my husband. I'm saving my wound for the man that I'm going to fall in love and have a future with. I'm at least going to give him a child of his own from a woman that doesn't have any kids. From a, you know, I'm not going to have a bad boy. With, I'm not going to have a kid with you because you it was, look at you. You're a bad boy. They know this. White women and any woman, Asian women know this. You're the bad boy. You're not dependable. You're 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 just hot, and I'm attracted to you. So I'm gonna sleep with you, and I'm young, and I'm in college, and I don't know no better. So I'm gonna do that. But I'm not. I know better than not. I know enough not to give you my wound so i'm gonna make you wear a condom now not all the time it's exception to the rule rules white women have babies from bad boys asian women you know but for, for the most part sisters usually be the main one get from my from my experience be the main one getting knocked up by hood cats you know gang bangers dope dealers dudes that they, that you know ain't finna be around in the long run especially with no kid especially with no marriage and taking care of wife you know what I'm saying? They'll have a kid with this motherfucker. And then they know it's not going to work out. Now it doesn't work out. The relationship ends. Now you out here with a kid. You done gain weight. You might meet another one. Get, get a baby from him. So now you got two baby daddies, two kids. And then you go out here. Hey, I was dissing the good guy. The, the guy who went to college. Focused. He wanted to take me out to dinner. And oh, he tried to. He brought, you know, he brought me flowers on my birthday. I thought that was corny. Young dumb, that's corny. This corny dude. Now I'm gonna circle back around. Now I'm in my thirties. Now, now the good guy who I thought was lame and was, uh, uh, you know, I thought he was gay. He was lame. Bring me flowers, open the door for me, trying to take me out on date and take me out and be good to me and all that shit. Now I realize, oh, he's husband material. Let me run back with all these damn kids from this thug nigga and see if I can and I gain weight. My wound been ran through. Let me let me go back. Hey, good guy, remember me? Hey, big head, remember you used to like me and I used to dish you? Hey, let's go hang out. Let's go out to dinner. Let's, let's, let's see if we can make that happen. Like how you how you used to like me. Let's see. I, I kind of like you now. Oh, by the way, I got all these kids from these psychopaths that I laid down with when I was young, when I was dissing you. And I want you to come and take care of them with with your. You just got. Oh, you ain't got no kids. So you know why? Because you're responsible. So you didn't go have a bunch of kids from a bunch of different women like the third nigga did. So you don't have any kids, but so you take mine on. What? You don't want to do it. What? Oh, you gay. You must be lame. What type of nigga don't want to step up to the plate? Not now, no accountability. You know, if you say no, they want you to be like, okay, come on, bring your little energy. And then it's funny, I had a friend of mine, he told me, he said, dude, you ain't got no kids. Let me tell you something. If you do decide to have kids, you got you in the driver's seat, dog. Don't get no kids from women who already have kids. He's like, I'm gonna tell you why. It's, it's a because it, you're gonna be have a kid with her and him. Because the dad was because he had my friend had a um he had a kid with a woman who has two children. She has a boy and a girl. Well, you know, she was married before, and then she got divorced when she was young, and then she then he met her, and they have a little girl together. <clears throat> He told me to straight up, man. He said, Charles, man, don't do it. He's like, he's like, um, cause the father that she was that she had her two kids by, he was an ex-convict. 
Not saying you can't, you know, give a brother a second chance, but still, he was a bad boy. That's what she had the kids with. Anyway, they got divorced because he was cheating. And then they met, met, met my friend, had a little girl. And, and my friend told me, he said, Charles, let me tell you this, man. He's like, let me tell you situations that happens. When this man comes over to see his kids, I got to let him come in my house. You know what I'm saying? Because that, you know, I, I, I'm married to his mother of his of his children. He's like, I'm cool with dude, but he's like, you know how that make me, makes me feel? I got to let this nigga come over here and it's, 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 it's just weird. Me standing there, <laughs> you, talk, you know what I'm saying? He's like, it's weird. He said, he said, and another thing happened. I think the oldest boy graduated. He's like, they had a, a big graduation party for the boy, the, the, his wife's son with the other dude. He said, and we had a big thing for him. And the father, you know, I can't say the father can't come. So the father came and he said, I'm just standing off to the cut with my little daughter. And if he's like, it was like this whole little thing where he was kind of like on the outside. He's like, dude, don't put yourself through that, dude. He said another thing too. He's like, when he had his daughter, being that his, his his wife had already had two kids prior, he said, this is my friend's first kid. So he's all excited. He's like, she was like, yeah, whatever. Cause she had already been to it twice with the other dude. She already had her two kids. She, she hadn't been through this already twice. So to her, it's like, whatever. He was like, so it kind of sucked all the air out of it. Being that if she was, if this had been her first kid, being it being, was, it had been more exciting. He's like, don't put yourself through that dude. Type of woman got kids. He's like, hang out with her, kick it with her, play with her a little bit, but don't take, don't, man, don't, don't get too attached to her, dude. You you deserve to have a kid with a woman who doesn't have kids. You know what I'm saying? You have rights too. Anyway, what you think, man? Leave your comments. This is Squatter Charles and his world, guys. Appreciate it. The thumbs up button.